Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'll be taste testing a new ramen. It is the Suta ramen right here. I'm going to show you all the details about this ramen. Let's go. So the word Suta on Samyang's website mentions this boasts of tasting just like noodle kneaded with hands. So it is implying that these taste like handmade noodles. So at the bottom here, it's written halal certified so it's safe for Muslims to consume. And over on this side, what's written on this side? Oh, it just says noodle soup. So, turning it over, cooking instructions. I'm going to follow these instructions exactly and just do a bit of my own thing as well. And now we're going to open our noodle packet and reveal the treasures within. Ah, that'd be some good treasure. So, we've got our vegetable flakes sachet. We have our soup base powder sachet. And then we have our noodle block. The ingredients of the noodles are wheat flour, refined palm oil, modified potato starch, salt, emulsifier is soy lecithin, soybean oil, acidity regulator, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, dibasic, citric acid, thickener is guar gum, water, green tea, flavor oil. And for the flakes, we have dried carrot flakes, dehydrated chives, dried cabbage flakes, dried bok choy. And for the soup base, it's made from soy sauce powder, soy water, salt, wheat. White sugar flour enhancer is monosodium glutamate, disodium ribonucleotide, salt, yeast powder, yeast extract powder, garlic powder, chili powder, chili pepper powder. Rice flour, black pepper powder, red pepper powder, mixed spicy powder, chili garlic onion, onion powder, palm oil, color is paprika extract, chili extract. It's time to cook this. Let's get to the kitchen. Okay everyone, so here we are in the kitchen. I have 550 ml of bottled water, not tap water. And the, those are the spices. It Look at the color. It's so vibrant. And then here we have the noodles. Now on this side, I'm going to be putting in some additional toppings. I have some spring onions, an egg, a tablespoon of butter, some beautiful button mushrooms. They're so, oh my god, I've been having this after a long time. They were out of shiitake mushrooms. They are, that was out of stock. And these were the only ones left, so I'm going to be using these ones, okay? Okay, let's start. So the first thing I'll do is actually get this going, because when this is cooking and heating up, then we're going to prepare our noodles, okay? So high heat, and then add the tablespoon of butter, and then low heat. Now I do not add additional spices and salt. Now to this I'm just going to add a handful of spring onion. And then we're going to add our mushrooms. Oh, already it smells great. Now to this I'm going to add some chili oil. Now this is crushed chili with a bit of sesame oil. Heat is still low. The scientific name of these mushrooms sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Agaricus by Sporus. Now let's focus on the noodles. Bottled water. Let that come to a boil and then we'll add our Vegetable flakes, soup base powder, and then our ramen. Now I added a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper. You can see how the mushrooms have crunchified. And then we're going to add our egg. Now I broke the egg and I mixed it in. Now this is ready, turn off the heat, set it aside. And what's the situation over here? The water is coming to a boil. Now the water has come to a boil. I'm gonna add in. Ooh. Then 
and the ramen and we have to let that cook for four minutes see ya in four minutes let's set the timer for four minutes oops oops there you go four minutes start i don't recall having fuzzy furry cushions on these chairs turns out it's a sleepy kitty <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, such a precious kitty. Hello, Mano. <laughs> Shabash. Oh, Mano, you're so good. So make sure you stir through the noodles so that they don't clump and they cook evenly. Oh, yeah, so good. Hello. Who can eat cow now? Who can eat cow? Go <laughs> woman no <laughs> Oh the poor kitty was starving it ate half a can of food and i just gave it some water now Okay, four minutes are up. Mmm, that looks great. Okay, so I've taken out the noodles and I put them in a bowl. And the toppings are right there. Now you can add the noodles to this. But it will make everything soggy. So to keep it crispy, just put it as toppings. Mmm. Okay, time to eat. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. And the soup is spicy. Oof. The soup is very flavorful and spicy. Yes, even the butter hasn't toned down the spiciness. Glad I added a pinch of salt because with all the added veggies, it would have been so bland. Now, the noodles are so thin. For Samyang noodles, yes, these noodles are thin. But the portion size, oh Samyang, you spoil us. And fatness. <laughs> now, the noodles have a bite to them. They are springy and chewy chewy. You know, which is great because for noodle soup, the noodles have to be that way because it's swimming in the soup and would have gone mushy and soggy. So the noodle block is tightly packed in such a way as to not overcook them. Coming on to the vegetable flakes. Now the vegetable flakes hydrated very well and they were very bouncy and uh, not sinking to the bottom. And the extra added veggies and egg all harmonized very well together, you know, texture wise. And they liven up the spicy, greasy broth. Yes, the broth is very greasy. Now, the spiciness does sting the mouth and will gradually increase more as we progress. But no runny nose. So, yay. Alhamdulillah, what a hearty meal. So, everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.